always tracking, always alerting. Storm Team 8. Well, we're in for perhaps a bit of sunshine tomorrow. If you have the opportunity, certainly take advantage because we don't have a whole lot of that in our eight-day forecast. Speaking of which, here's what we're tracking over the next week or so. Quiet weather is expected right on through Tuesday. So, but tomorrow and Tuesday look pretty good. We'll start to see the wind pick up Tuesday, but no precipitation expected at this point until we get into the day on Wednesday. That's when it starts to turn a bit more active. Rain eventually transitioning over to a mix Wednesday into Thursday. Then it turns colder with some chances for lake effect snow towards next weekend. And it looks like that colder pattern may be here to stay for a little while. Here's a look at Storm Track Live showing very quiet conditions. We've seen some drizzle and mist, some occasional snow flurries throughout a good portion of the day today. Most of that has come to an end for us here in West Michigan, and we can expect a quiet night ahead. Feature cast shows mostly cloudy skies and the chance of a pop up shower in the form of a sprinkle or a flurry. Otherwise, though, we should be high and dry throughout the overnight, uh, for many of us anyway, end of the day on Monday. Mostly cloudy skies, although a few peaks of sunshine can't be necessarily ruled out for the afternoon. Here's a live look at Grand Rapids. Pavement's doing a nice job of drying out, and that trend should continue overnight tonight into early tomorrow. Your daybreak temperature, 29 degrees, certainly going to be a touch on the cool side. Uh, at least uh, cooler than what we've kind of been used to for an overnight lows. It's 35 degrees in Grand Rapids right now, 35 in Allegan, 38 in Kalamazoo, and it's 37 in both South Haven and in Holland. Winds have gone calm almost everywhere. In other spots, they're less than 5 miles per hour, so it's a quiet evening. We've conti we're continuing to track that potential for a system midweek. Showed the European model yesterday. The update today is that it's kind of treaded more towards rain for West Michigan Wednesday into Thursday. But eventually, the cold air does make its way into the Great Lakes, and that's when we start to see some snow flurries into Friday, perhaps. And it may get cold enough for some lake effect snow showers. Still pretty early, but at this point, the models are in fairly good agreement that it's going to cool off. That's uh, the big guarantee. In terms of precipitation chances, they go up as of Wednesday, and they remain elevated right on through the rest of the eight-day forecast. Climate Prediction Center agrees there's a very good chance that we see colder than average temperatures for the week leading up to Christmas. And as long as those winds stay westerly, there's a good chance a good portion of West Michigan could see at least some lake effect snow showers leading up to Christmas. So that's the good news. Overnight tonight, temperatures eventually dropping down into the upper 20s, warming up only into the mid 30s for tomorrow. But again, a bit of sunshine will be possible. Your eight-day forecast shows high temperatures in the upper 30s beginning Tuesday, continuing through Thursday, and then we eventually see that colder air start to wrap in. That's when we change over to snow, and by next Sunday, we're looking at high temperatures in the upper 20s. So it's going to be feeling a lot more like winter here in a few short days.